Well, very sorry about that. We seem to be having many gremlins. We've got a hyena here that's injured. It's lifting up its foot. Now, like I was saying to you, there was so much commotion going on last night. I'm just going to turn up this way, Craig, just to give these you have tax a spot to view it as well. Um, I don't actually know what's gone on, but it's not uncommon to have, of course, domestic disputes, if you will, within the clan of hyenas. But that foot does not look good. You can see it's obviously in a bit of pain. It's holding it up. It doesn't want to put any pressure on it. So it could have been from a number of different things. It, it could have been running and it could have fallen into a burrow of some sort. We often see animals breaking their legs like that. I don't know if it's broken though. It's a bit hard to tell from here, but it definitely doesn't look particularly good. So I wonder if that's why when we were sitting during pre-show, two of the hyenas actually didn't want to move at all. They kept looking back towards the tent and that's exactly where this hyenas come from. It has come from James's favorite spot in the sands in, from his tent. I don't know if they were in the tent. I doubt that they were in the tent. And that makes a lot more sense now why they kept looking back, but there was so much commotion. There was lots of squealing. So there's obviously been a slight altercation. We might pop past the den to see if there's anything happening there as well. But of course, you guys know how to identify these hyenas better than I do. So you're welcome to hashtag Safari Live with who you think this member could be. But it does not look too well. Maybe you must go back and have a rest. I think it's looking for the rest of the clan now. But the other three that we saw initially looked very healthy, looked fine and fantastic condition. They were nice and fat. Like I said, even one of them was eating something. So I don't know what they were feeding upon. Just also listening because they were quite, they were communicating quite a bit earlier on this morning. The sort of soft whoops, sort of like a woo. They weren't doing the normal whooping sound, so it sounded like they were maybe just doing close sort of contact communication. Craig, should we go up again? Now, we must be remember, now we've got an injured animal. We have to, of course, respect this animal. We need to give it room. Right, so we're not going to pressure it. We're gonna, we'll just have another look at it, of course, just so you guys can be able to identify it. But Gina, you've said, do you think the sounds that they were making could have been from an injury being um, sort of made to the hyena? Definitely, most certainly. It was a We're not gonna pressure it. We're gonna, we'll just have another look at it, of course, just so you guys can be able to identify it. But Gina, you've said, do you think the sounds that they were making could have been from an injury being um, sort of made to the hyena? Definitely, most certainly it was a str It's now why they kept looking back, but there was so much commotion. There was lots of squealing. So there's obviously been a slight altercation. We might pop past the den to see if there's anything happening there as well. But of course, you guys know how to identify these hyenas better than I do. So you're welcome to hashtag Safari Live with who you think this member could be. But it does not look too well. Maybe you must go back and have a rest. I think it's looking for the rest of the clan now. But the other three that we saw initially looked very healthy, looked fine and fantastic condition. They were nice and fat. Like I said, even one of them was eating something, so I don't know what they were feeding upon. Just also listening, because they were quite, they were communicating quite a bit earlier on this morning. The sort of soft whoops, sort of like a woo. They weren't doing the normal whooping sound, so it sounded like they were maybe just doing close sort of contact communication. Craig, should we go up again? Now, we must be, remember, now we've got an injured animal. We have to, of course, respect this animal. We need to give it room. Right, so we're not going to pressure it. We're going to, we'll just have another look at it, of course, just so you guys can be able to identify it. But Gina, you've said, do you think the sounds that they were making could have been from an injury being, um, sort of made to the hyena definitely most certainly it was a strange noise it wasn't a very pleasant sound that we were hearing i'm just going to go up 
and we'll look from a distance. Like I said, I don't want to put too much pressure on an injured animal. It, it can't be very nice. You know, it's like when you go to hospital and you've had an operation, they're visiting hours for that exact reason. You need to get rest. And we'll just watch, watch it as it walks. No, you see, now it's walking. Look at that. I suppose that just shows you how resilient th these creatures are because it didn't want to put any weight on its foot. And now look at it. It's fine. Oh, he sees me. Wouldn't be a safari if I didn't sneeze. Okay, well, I don't know what was wrong with it. Maybe it just sort of jarred a, a joint. You know what that can be like if you do running and you roll your ankle. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes before you can put any weight down on it, but you eventually get it back again. So maybe that's what's happened. Maybe they were playing or chasing after that one hyena that had a meal and they were trying to steal it from her. And then there was an altercation that happened. So that's another thing. There's many different things that could have could have happened. We can only really just speculate. It's um it's quite difficult to of course tell. But I'm just happy that it's putting it's putting weight down on its foot again. That makes me feel a whole lot better. But remember these animals are resilient. They bounce back like you have absolutely no idea. So to be worried about something like a hyena I mean, who wouldn't be when you hang around wild dogs, lions, and leopards trying to steal their meals? Now, Sally from Oregon, you're wondering if the pack would help this hyena or if it will have to stay on its own. So typically we refer to a group of hyenas as a, as a clan, and normally wild dogs will be a pack of dogs. Um, but no, they're not necessarily going to help it. So, you know, and this is what's so nice, uh, the differences between hyenas and wild dogs. Is obviously wild dogs are, they're amazing animals. But when there is an injured member in, in the pack, they normally stay at the den side or they stay behind and they'll bring food back for that member. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen with the hyenas. Hyenas don't sort of regurgitate their food like wild dogs do. And I don't think that they would bring back chunks of meat. They normally bring back chunks of meat to den sites as all the little ones will chew on them. But typically not for an adult. Like I said, I'm not sure uh, which hyena this is. Megan, has anybody said who they think this hyena could be? So I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure of the ranking of this hyena. And that, of course, will have a whole lot to do with it. But it'll be fine. Look at it already. We saw it just a couple of minutes ago, not being able to put any weight on its foot. And now, look, it's got a slight limp. It'll be fine. Remember, once that adrenaline kicks in, if it's going to try and hunt something or if it's going to try and scavenge, that all goes away. They forget that they have an injury. It's like the day that I was charged by that buffalo with a broken leg in the cars. We, I was calling it in, I, we've told the story often, I'm telling the bushwalk team, it was actually, James, don't come to this area, there's a buffalo with a broken leg, and as I was doing that, it's like there was nothing even wrong with her. She put all four legs down on the ground and charged straight towards me. But I think we'll let this hyena carry on. Like I said, it is slightly distressed just because of an injury. Let's go around that leopard that was soaring, I don't know who it could be, 